Hello friends! Do you want to animate but don't want to pay for expensive software? Well, Tahoma 2D is not only free, but as it's a close relative of OpenTunes, the software that Studio Ghibli uses, it's got a good pedigree. So that's what I'm going to show you in this series of videos. My name's Darren T and I've been teaching people to use OpenTunes and Tahoma 2D for the past five years, as well as making my own animations. And I've even made courses to help you learn how, but more on that later. So Tahoma 2D is based on the OpenTunes software and they both have almost identical features. But since splitting, OpenTunes has some new features and bug fixes and so does Tahoma 2D. And some of these features and fixes have been copied to the other software and some haven't. And I find some of the extra features in Tahoma 2D more useful for me. And I think the layout is just easier to work with. But as they're so similar, if you use OpenTunes, these videos will be just as useful to you. So, if you haven't already, jump over to the Tahoma 2D website and go to the download page and choose the download for your operating system, either the last official release, which could be a few months old, or the nightly build, which is the very latest version to include new features and fix bugs, so that's the one I always recommend using. Ignore the plugins download for now. Then once downloaded, follow the instructions at the bottom of this page. But basically, once downloaded, unzip the file and move the contained unzip folder to a safe location. And personally, I copy it to a folder I call Program Files Local to be with the other portable versions of programs. Then, if you prefer, as I do, set up a shortcut on your desktop to run the program so you don't have to find it in this folder every time. And on running it the first time, you'll see this dialog. Just press more info at the top here and then run anyway. And then you'll see the program. And running next time, you won't see that warning dialog. So this is the startup pop-up. And here you can see any previous projects and scenes that you've worked with. And I'll go over exactly what those are in another video. Also on here, you can choose to auto save your scenes as you work with them. I tend not to use this and I just save manually. But again, we'll look at that later. And you can leave this ticked at the bottom left of the dialog to have the dialog open each time you start, which I think is really useful. So I'll leave that checked. So let's close this. And then you'll see the tips window. And you can see it offers tips for users moving from an earlier version of Tahoma or from OpenTunes, describing that the way the timeline works has changed. There's tips for issues with Surface tablets, hints about the new implicit hold feature, and some general tips. And many of these we'll get to in the coming videos, but do take a read of them. Some of them won't make sense at first, but they will later. So do come back to this pop-up a few times. And again, you can leave this tick to show at the start next time, but you can also open both these dialogues anytime you like. The tips dialog is in the help menu, and the startup pop-up is in the panels menu. And before we get into the program, it's useful to set a couple of default settings. But before we do that, if you want to dive deeper into Tahoma or OpenTunes, check out my Udemy courses linked in the description. One is full of details of how to use all the tools that you'll need for traditional style 2D animation, with plenty of practice exercises to get you up to speed. And the other is a full run through of how I recreated the famous scene from Steamboat Willing, showing you every step of the process in real time. And you can see the full list of all the lessons in each course, along with the downloadable content before you buy them. So if you're interested in either of these, check out the link in the description below. Okay, so let's change those settings. So from the file menu, choose preferences. And you'll see there's lots of settings to consider. And we'll look at more of these in other videos when they come up. But let me show you two of the useful ones to set at the start. So the first setting to change is to add a default location for your projects. When first downloading, projects are created in your documents folder, which can be useful for most users. But I like to keep them on my spare drive, my D drive. And to keep it short, I just call the folder to Homer. So let's browse to that. So click the triple dot button, go to my computer, D drive to Homer. Let's choose that. And the second useful setting to look at is in the interface section. And that's the theme for the program which is just the colors of the interface, but change it to a different one to try it out. And after a few seconds, you'll see the change. 
And as you change between them, you'll also be notified that to have the icons change, you have to restart the program. That's because there's a light and dark version of the icons, which work best with specific themes, and they can only change by restarting. But I like the dark theme, so I'll leave it at that. And everything else I'll leave for now and show you as we need them. And any changes made here are auto-saved, so just close this dialog and those settings will be remembered. So that's the program installed and ready to use. Next time, we'll take a look around the program interface to demystify the complexity of it. So you'll be a step closer to creating your own animations for free with Tahoma 2D. And that's a guarantee.